I sat down here at like, I don't know. Since I have like 3,000 errands to run, I'm going to, I guess, put on my face and, uh, and hopefully that'll motivate me to leave the fucking house. But we'll see. So I know that a lot of you, like people who do your makeup, ask me. What do you do for blah, blah, blah? What's your routine? What makeup products do you use to make your skin look the way it does? Well, first of all, I use a lot of filters. Let's start by talking about whatever the fuck is going on on my chin right now. I've never really had like a lot of issues with my skin. I don't know what the fuck my face is doing. I don't really break out anywhere else. But on my chin, in this little area over here that I'm strategically hiding from you, it's um, disgusting. So I've been putting acne shit on it to try to get rid of it and, uh, and instead of it, you know, taking care of my problem, it's just giving me these cool uh, <laughs> dry patches that I can't really cover. Pay no attention to the disgusting patch of shit on my face uh, that we're gonna try to now conceal with, I mean, I already, I tried putting on concealer earlier to hide it from you, but you know what? That didn't fucking work. So we're just gonna go <laughs> in with my foundation. By the way, I'll take you through the steps. At least I'll try. I'm not a professional. Um, so this is the first Sally Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. I use it as a primer because it makes, like, it makes your skin kind of tacky. So your foundation kind of has something to adhere to. Um, I don't use it all the time, but when I need fuller coverage, um, like when I'm gonna go run errands, like I'm supposed to do today, um, I like to have a little bit more, I guess, insurance, we'll call it. Now I'm using my, <laughs> wow, it's a good face. <laughs> my foundation, which is the Make It Forever Ultra HD um, Invisible Cover Foundation in shade R220. I do this thing, cause I'm fucking stupid, so, I have this shade that I used to wear when I lived in Florida and I would go outside a little bit more. Shade Y15 in the same uh, makeup brand. And I always default to that shade and I'll try it on in Sephora and like I'll just do a patch test like on like here. And it always looks okay under all of the lights. I don't know. Uh, and really, I get it home and then I'll test it in my house and it'll be yellow. So I will take it back, but I'm stupid, like I said, and I never can remember like what fucking shade I need. And I don't usually remember to, I don't know, take a picture of the bottom of it or something. So I've made a point to like ingrain it into my, that R220 is my freaking shade. And uh, that's the one I need to buy. So I just got this one because I had to return the last one because it was the wrong one because, again, I'm stupid. This one's more pink, but then the other one that I wear that's a little bit, just tiny bit darker, just tiny bit darker. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just told you that little fun story. And, um, and I don't really understand what happened, but I have shade Y215 here, which I thought that I returned. Uh, I don't know what that means, but if I were to make an educated guess, I would say that it's probably because I accidentally returned a partially used bottle of... <laughs> oh no. Great job. Go Abby. By the way, if this is your first time here and you can't read, um, and you don't know how you found me, I'm Abby. And welcome to Jackass. Christ. 
I digress. <laughs> Let's move on. What should we do? Should we use some concealer? Oh my god, like, all right, so. Uh, Let's talk about my face really quick. Well, like I said, everyone's always like, oh my god, your skin, whatever, it looks like that. Photography, editing, filters. Let's talk about some of my problem areas really quick. I do have dandruff. Uh, <laughs> I do have this line, uh, hi, that you kind of maybe can see. I don't know. I bitch about it a lot. I've gotten Botox for it before. I didn't go back to get Botox for it because my um, my person who I was going to is in Fort Lauderdale and I'm in LA, so that doesn't really work. Um, I haven't found anyone who I really trust with my face like that to stab me with poison. And the other thing that I have that's been going on that I've noticed getting worse over the years is I have these two little like smirk lines like right here and they are where my makeup goes and hangs out. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Like if I'm fat, then they kind of go away. Like if I gain a few pounds, but I guess right now I've been like on a diet a little bit and I've been like getting my weight back down cause I kind of just, uh, I did whatever I wanted to do and uh, and uh, I gained 10 pounds. So right now we're working on that and now that I'm probably down like three pounds or something I can see those lines because you know my makeup is just like that. Yeah so I have to try to get around those and do what I can to make sure that my makeup doesn't get caught. Anyway, <laughs> wow my my face is probably dry right now for me just talking so much. I'm sorry. I mean I'm not sorry because You'd be pretty bored if you were just, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, you know? You probably don't know, because I don't know. Boop. This is kind of like a ramble, but um, I obviously watch, I mean, I feel like it's obvious that I watch a lot of um, beauty gurus and bloggers and vloggers and things like that. Those people wear so much makeup, I don't even understand. Like, they will take, I just, you probably think that this, like, that I just put on my fucking face, which is, by the way, Tarte um, Shape Tape in shade Fair Neutral. They, I don't even know. I, I, don't, I just, I don't know. Even this much is, like, I feel like it's cakey. It's hanging out in all the gross little areas on my face. Can you just do your damn job, please? Thank you. It's, like, drying. <laughs> it's a lot different doing your makeup in broad daylight in front of a bunch of lights. Wow, this isn't flattering at all. Should we cream contour or powder contour today? Do both. I'm going for a natural makeup look. <laughs> Puts on all of the makeup she owns. By the way, I suck at cream contour. Um, it's like my least favorite thing. I feel like it, unless you sit there and you just pat it in, it will end up looking like you smeared poop on your face. Um, but this is the contour cream kit in uh, Fair by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I got it on sale at Sephora. And if you didn't know this, um, Sephora didn't really used to do sales. Like they did the occasional clearance, but now they do sales on items every once in a while. I think the last time I was there was just maybe a few days ago. And they had a bunch of Anastasia um, liquid lips on sale. And I was like, what? They were, I think they were 12, they were $12 instead of $22 or something like that and I was just like and I'm mixing <laughs> uh, These two shades these two lighter shades down here together and also getting stuff all over my brand new white desk because I am a monster. I hate this Can you just can you see that does it look like poop kind of are we into it? Yes, I'm blending. Can you do this? What was that from? I'm blending does anyone remember Dr. Doolittle? <laughs> I'm like, I'm putting this in a weird shape on my face to make my face look like a smaller face. Um, and I'm now just using the lightest shade in this palette because it's more of a cool tone so it doesn't look bronzy or uh, orange, obviously. So it, looks more like a natural shadow so I can take it and smear it all over my whole face um, and me making facial expressions is also making my forehead crease <laughs> and it looks cracked because it's literally cracked um this is what I do when I'm by myself hi 
talk to myself like a crazy person. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. And like I have to do this to make my face again look like a better face, a thinner face. That's one of the reasons why my jaw always looks so, uh, how do you say? Snatched? Yes. I don't know what happened here, but I guess we're having a butt chin day. I don't even have a butt chin, but let's just, let's just live this butt chin moment right now. <laughs> oh, and now I'm putting a little bit of normal colored, normal colored, um, a lighter concealer underneath. Well, I'm using the highlight from the kit, but I'm using a lighter color underneath to blend it so that it looks less weird. Um, so basically I'm just caking the fuck out of my face. Hopefully we can make this look normal because right now it doesn't look normal, but it looks a lot different when I do it in the dark, I'll tell you that much. What do we need to do next? We need to look like a normal person. I need to figure out how to like fix the situation under my eyes, cause goddamn. So I have my damp beauty blender and I'm right now using the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder in this gigantic thing. And yeah, I don't really know what else to call it. And baking is just when you let your setting powder set. Um, I heard why it's called baking, but I don't really remember well enough to explain it to you. I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and you would think that it would make it like gross and cakey, um, but honestly it helps really lock in the powder so that I don't look as crazy. And it stays generally matte throughout the whole day. So it's great for like if you have a photo shoot or something like that and you really just need your makeup to stick because you're like, okay, well, you know, I came here by myself. Sometimes you go and there's not a makeup artist and you might want to do your makeup before you get there so that you kind of know what your situation is and you know what you're working with. So I just, whenever I have that situation, I'll just take it and scoop it out and just pat, 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 pat and then it stays all day long. All right. Should we get some eyebrows on or should we do something else? Should we do eyes first? Let's do eyes. We'll save the eyebrows for mm, maybe not last, but like almost last. Um, I don't really know what palette to use today, so I'm gonna use since I just got it the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. And I almost didn't get this palette because a lot of people were talking shit about it. And I thought to myself, well, I mean, you know, if I don't like it, I can return it. Or if I don't like it, I'll just forget about it. But I actually do like this palette, but the only problem I have is that it is really actually powdery, like a lot of people did say. Um, I do have some issues with fallout. Um, and fallout, in case you don't know, is just when your makeup doesn't stick to the area which it is applied, it, for example, falls off onto your cheek. But that's usually something that happens after you've are like before, like while you're applying your makeup, it'll kind of fall off your brush. But what happens with this is that, by the way, I'm not like by any means a professional, as mentioned before. I'm just some girl who gets lucky sometimes and puts her makeup on the right way. I have the long, the, I have the, the, the. okay. I have the wrong fluffy brush. This is like my crease fluffy brush, but I don't know where the other one went. And as a lot of people will say, there are no rules in makeup. So if you look at this and you cringe, you're like, this bitch is doing her makeup the wrong way. You're probably right. But technically there is no wrong way. So it's not a problem. <laughs> the way that you're supposed to, or not supposed to, but the easiest way to do your eyeshadow is to lay down a base shade that is light and you work from light to dark. Okay, this is good enough for me right now because I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh, I'm just doing this because I have to leave the house. I don't want to leave the house. All right, I'm gonna use boop, boop, this guy because I'm stupid. Ugh. <laughs> Drinking game, every time I say I'm stupid, drink. 
What do we want to go in with? Do we want to go in with like a green or do we want to do, oh, you know what? Let's do this. No, wait, that's too dark. Ooh, let's go. There's like, the, um, help me. There's a shiny, not shiny, but this kind of shimmery shade called a, a Adorn. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with that on a, uh, I guess this is a packing brush. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. That's who. Ooh, that might be too dark for this hour, but that's okay. We'll just pretend that we're going to the club, even though we're going to Ralph's. It's weird because it doesn't look copper in the pan. I clearly didn't look at any of the swatches <laughs> from this palette. Fun fact, I can barely see out of this eye. So doing my makeup is super fun when I have to close the eye to do my shadow. Like it's the funnest. Oh God. It just fell right off. Like it's going to on my face later. Uh, what the hell is going on? It's so loud. Are you okay? I don't know if it's a vacuum, if it's yard work. I don't know where that sound is coming from. It kind of sounds like a swarm of bees. I'm not really sure. I'm being so careful not to just like plop a ton of this on my lid right now, but I kind of just want to be like, ugh. What am I doing with my hand? <laughs> Are you okay? Um, <laughs> is that what I want? Is this what I want for fucking what time is it? For 1.45 p.m.? Yes, this is what I want. We're going to prom! I just literally spit all over this palette. If you come from my house, don't use it because I just spit all over it. Oh! Yeah, I didn't mean for that to happen, but that's okay. Oh, by the way, I fuck up a lot. So when I do, and you don't usually see those moments because why would I show you me fucking up? If I do a wing, usually I fuck it up. So I have my concealer and what I'll just do is I'll carve out those little mistakes. It looks a little crazy. What is happening here? <laughs> What? <laughs> Shit. Where did I go wrong? This is not, I repeat, not a 1.45 p.m. look. Don't follow this. <laughs> it's crazy that like I've been doing, you know, my makeup on and off for, I don't know, ever. And I still can't figure this shit out. This is interesting. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna grab my concealer and we're gonna something. Oh my God, is this gonna work? Ooh, probably not. The other thing that fucks me up is that my eyes are shaped, you know, differently. Like everyone else who exists. One of my eyes slants up and the other one's kind of, I don't know, they're just different. They're just living their own, you know, living their own best lives. Mm, is that even enough? Sure. Ooh. No. Yes. No. Fuck. I don't know. I need to get back in here, too. It's too early. And my lighting is too fucked. I might even spray a setting spray. Mm, who am I kidding? No, I'm not. Where are we going with this? Well, it could be worse. Eh. You know what? No. We're gonna go in with a brown shadow on a something or other instead. Is it working? Am I hot yet? No. I mean, maybe it would be easier if I could see out of both of my fucking eyes. <laughs> Is it terrible? Yes. Do I care? No. Maybe if my makeup sucks, 
creepy men won't come and hit on me in the grocery store. I'm gonna take a little bit of whatever the hell this is. Uh, the Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy Smoothing something or other. Since I came back from Florida, my skin was like, oh, sweet, like hydration. And now I'm back in LA and it's like, <laughs> and I look like SpongeBob in that one episode where he's like, I need water. I need water. What am I drinking? Like three shots of espresso. <laughs> oh my God, am I really gonna put on lashes? No, you know what? Fuck that. I'm just gonna put on eyebrows. Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Like, I don't even have a comparison because my eyebrows like have never even met before. <laughs> when you're so stupid, you make yourself laugh. No, this one's like all weird and like square in the center. And the other one is something else. To be honest, I'm gonna call it a miss and just accept my eyebrows living whatever fucking life that they wanna have today. No matter how terrible it is. So I have a problem. Ooh, I just kicked you. I have a problem committing, um, to products sometimes, which is hard to believe, but um, I'll usually get like the the favorites um, from Sephora and like the little trial packs, and I'm really liking the perversion. Okay, um, <laughs> mascara by Urban Decay. So I might actually get this one in a full size. And the fun thing about um, those sample sizes is that typically it'll come with a voucher for the full size product. Um, so that's pretty neat. And I'm gonna skip the bronzer just cause I'm already wearing enough makeup. <laughs> um, so you probably noticed that I didn't do a Q and A like a lot of people asked and I just figured that since Oof, I need that. Since it's my first time putting out a video in so long, I don't want the first thing to be me telling you everything that there is to know because then you might not stick around to get to know me. So, hopefully you enjoyed watching What a Weirdo I Am. And, uh, and maybe you'll come back to hang out with me some more. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button below, comment, let me know what you wanna see in the future, uh, follow me on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Um, I won't bore you with all those details. I'm sure you figured out by now how to find me, where to watch me, you know what I'm saying. So anyways, I will talk to you later and I will see you on Instagram and hopefully back here at some point. Awesome. Thanks, bye.